Hi, my name is Laura Aritza. I'm a product manager on the Intune team, working primarily in the policy and security space. Hi, my name is Pierre Larsen. I'm also working in the Intune product group. I'm working on the customer side with helping customers adopt our product and remove bloggers for them to move forward. Today, we're going to be talking to you about our unified endpoint management solution between Microsoft Intune and Defender for Endpoint. So what we're going to cover today is an overview of how our unified endpoint security management solution works. We have some awesome demos for you to actually walk through the experiences for admins within the Intune security blade, as well as the experiences offered in the Defender for Endpoint portal. And then we'll cover some general uh, FAQ questions to make sure that you have a great understanding of how everything works. So let's cover an overview of what we offer. Microsoft's endpoint security solution is a unified management experience that really aims to break the glass between security teams and IT teams to allow them to work effectively together in order to secure all the devices that are in a customer's environment. We do this by empowering admins with dedicated tools and experiences to be able to set a wide variety of security controls in place and really have visibility into how this impacts their devices configurations. The way we achieve this is with a deep integration between Intune and Defender for Endpoint, where security and IT admins have access in both portals to manage these policies for the relevant security areas. To be able to do this across device platforms and across all the different management channels that we offer. In Intune, this is through the Endpoint Security Blade and within Defender, uh, the same capabilities are available under the Configuration Management Blade. Our joint solution offers policy management experiences for all the core security areas, including antivirus, disk encryption, attack surface reduction, firewall, account protection, baselines, and so much more. Uh, with all of this, we have dedicated template and reporting experiences to configure the settings that fall within each of these areas. Now, security settings can be targeted to devices that fall into three main management channels. For Intune enrolled MDM devices, uh, security policies can be applied to desktop and macOS devices that are cloud native or co-managed. Uh, if you're using tenant attach, you can target a subset of policies to Windows desktop and server devices. And for non-Intune enrolled devices that are using Defender, you can use our Defender attach solution uh, to apply policies to Windows desktop, Windows server, Linux server, and macOS devices. So diving more into our MDE attach solution, this is where we support the devices that are not enrolled into Intune to receive security policies within our deep defender integration. The way that this works is for the admin to configure the prerequisite toggles and configurations to even enable the solution, uh, including uh, defender onboarding. But once this is all set up, the device will onboard to the Defender service and the client uh, from Defender will enroll onto the device. If an identity for the device doesn't exist in Entra, we create the device object within the Entra directory so that this can be used to target and receive security policies using the Defender token. If the device does register to Entra at a later point, then we'll do our cleanup and use this device record for future policy management. This solution is super lightweight. It's been made available for customers in government cloud environments, and there's really awesome coverage of what can be used to target security policies using this management channel. Now, Per will walk through what the endpoint security management experiences look like within Intune. Yeah, so I will do a walkthrough of the uh, Intune endpoint security plate. Uh, I will do a uh, quick uh, demo where I show some of the policies, some of the capabilities that you can do within the uh, Intune side of the house. So let's go into our tenant. So into the endpoint security plate. 
You can see that we have the connectors, we have a status as well. We can go in and create a or look at the antivirus policies. We can see if we have any unhealthy uh, antivirus uh, devices and we can even click on them and do some actions just like update the signatures. And that will go out and reach out to the device and do a signature update. If we go back to summary, we can also scroll down and we can create a policy. Inside the policy we have for platforms and I will do Windows in this case and I will create a update control policy. As you can see, we have this both for MDM and for MDE devices. So I will take the uh, naming of the policy and I will do the configuration settings. So in this case, I will do the preview channel uh, so I can test early things, just like set the current channel to preview. And this is the way that I can do stage rollout of uh, Defender settings, uh, Defender updates for my devices. We can use scope tags and we can do the assignment. Always do a pilot assignment. So I have a MDE security baseline pilot group where I can do include or exclude targeting. And I can even add a filter for it. Uh, before my assignment and then I will save and the policy will apply to the devices inside the group. I can go into my firewall. We also have uh, a report that shows if the firewall is disabled on the device. If I go down to our attack surface reduction, I we have something we call reusable settings where we can create settings that we can reuse when we create a policy. So let's go in and create a policy, take the platform windows and in this case, I will do the device control. As you can see, we have it both on MDEM and for MDE devices. Again, I will use the naming convention that I have in my tenant, and I will go in and create my settings. So for this setting, I will use device control and I will add it. I will select my, my reusable settings that I just showed that I've created before, and I will select the removable media uh, drives so I don't have to recreate that for every policy that I need it in and I need to give it a name and then I can set my access control. Inside my access control I'm going to add what am I going to do, what are my options, my access mask, so in this case I will use read and execute but I will also use a deny where I can um, deny uh, file write and uh, file execution. And then I can put in a uh, group for that one if I need it. Then I will just do the uh, scope tag if I have scope tags in my devices. And again, my assignment, I'm doing a assignment for uh, a pilot. In this case, I will do a uh, include filter where I take my uh, privileged access workstations out of the uh, the filter, so I'm only applying it to those devices and then I can click save and the policy is saved and I am ready to deploy it to my devices. So for the second demo, I will show you how to create a uh, MDE security baseline within the Intune admin center that relies inside the endpoint security plate. So when we go into the endpoint security plate, we have the security baseline. As you can see, we have several baselines, but today we will talk about the Defender for Endpoint baseline. We create a new one. It only applies to MDM joint devices. I will take the uh, naming of the baseline and put in as my policy uh, name. Let's say that you do not want the baseline to uh, kick in the, uh, the bit logger. You have that configured in a different policy. You can just set everything to not configured. If you have a setting where you need a different uh, configuration control, like this where I'm enabling uh, device guard with a different setting, and we will put in the uh, group, I will use the same group that I had before. So always deploy baselines to a pilot group so you're sure that everything is working for your end user. And when we click create, we will get the uh, policy created, and then we are ready to receive the policy settings on those devices. Now I'll cover a walkthrough of the admin experiences that we offer within the Defender for Endpoint portal. 
So here is a quick demo of what it looks like within Defender for Endpoint under the configuration management blade. So you can see we have a space here for all of the endpoint security policies that PER had walked through in the Intune console. This is also available through Defender where I can see the different pivots for my Windows, Mac OS, and Linux policies. Again, all of the same information that would be available within Intune endpoint security is also available within Defender so that admins don't have to jump between portals, they can access the same data that's within here. So here you can see I have all of my Windows policies. I can customize the columns that are available to look at the information. I can filter by the policy categories, the types, the targets. Um, you can uh, see this at the template level. For example, let's filter by device control templates. Uh, and for that, I can have a filtered view for only those device control policies. I can sort through all of the different columns, which makes it super easy to navigate through all of the policies that I've created. I also have capabilities to export, uh, edit, delete, uh, and create new policies, again, all within the Defender view. If I want to create a new policy, I can choose the platforms that are available and the templates that are available. So for example, an antivirus exclusions macOS template, I can give it a name. Um, and as you can see, this is a, the same experience that would be available through Intune. I can view the configuration settings that are available. If there was a long list, I can search through them by name. Uh, as well as have the same terminology for the setting names, the descriptions, and capabilities to configure. In this example, uh, I can configure the AV exclusion settings. I have the option of defining multiple ones by path, file extension, file name. Within here, I'll just put in something random. Uh, and as you can see, I can manage the long list of exclusions if I need, uh, just like I can in Intune and make this uh, flexible to my needs. Once I'm uh, done with configuring the actual settings, I can move to the assignment step, uh, similar to what Per showed in the Intune blade. Uh, within here, I have the option uh, to add different groups, do this by uh, specific include and exclude uh, selections, and then come to the next step of the policy phase to actually review everything that's going into my policy. Uh, so I won't save this one. Uh, we'll take a look at one of the uh, already created policies. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, I can look through the policies that I have, uh, select one that I've already created. Let's go to this default AV policy. And this navigates me to the policy details uh, that I can see very quickly with all the same reporting information that I would get with an Intune. If I want to uh, edit, delete, actually jump to the Intune portal, I have those options handy. Uh, and I can actually see a more detailed view of the actual policy page with all of its contents, reporting data, uh, and assignments that are all available, again, through the Defender portal. I can see the actual settings part of this policy. Uh, I can come to the list of devices that it's applied to and actually come to the device object within Defender. And this will show up under a new security policies blade on the device object to see here are the policies applied to this device. Again, same as what you would have within the Intune console. So I can see the endpoint security, uh, different types of policies that are applied to this device. Within here, this makes a very seamless uh, admin experience for admins that are operating within the Defender for Endpoint portal and don't necessarily want to jump back and forth to Intune. So now for the uh, FAQ of our solution. So we have put together some of the most common uh, requests that we get from customers. So let me walk you through some of them. Do all my devices need to be onboarded into Intune? As Laura started uh, saying, you have different options. So 
You can leverage these different options depending on how your estate is today. And you can even move from uh, MD, MDE attached into pure uh, MDM enrollment uh, at a later point. Another question that we often get is, can we actually manage all devices with MDE? We cannot manage server core, VDIs and legacy OSs as they are not supported today. So as part of our zero trust strategy, Many customers is using conditional access, but for conditional access to work and the device to be compliant, it needs to be into enrolled. So that is requiring that you are, have your devices MDM enrolled, either standalone or with uh, co-management. And then for the security baseline that I also showed in the demo, that only works for into enrolled devices. That is not the same as the configuration you have in there. Most of the configuration you have in there cannot be configured within uh, the Defender portal. So any way to make updates quicker on the device, I actually showed it in the demo that you could go in and update one of the, uh, the, the signatures uh, updates if they're failing, but you can also do a sync on your device either from within Intune or from within the MDE portal that will sync your policies on the device as well. So how do we actually target devices? Everything is done by uh, intra groups. Inside intra groups, they can be dynamic, especially if they are MDE attached where you can search for the management type uh, Microsoft Sense. Uh, and you can also do it by device type. So depending on how you want to uh, target your uh, devices, you can create groups either static or dynamic straight into Intra. We have these uh, multiple management channel on the devices. We have Intune, we have Configuration Manager, we have Group Policy, PowerShell, and third-party MDM. Part of that, uh, Laura showed in the beginning of the session. So when you're using Intune, you can use uh, the management portal inside uh, Defender or inside uh, Intune to manage uh, the policy for those uh, devices. For Configuration Manager, you can configure them with tenant attached, and then you can still use Intune as the management plane. You can also use Group Policy or PowerShell uh, or third-party MDM, but we will highly recommend you to use the option we have within Intune or we have within uh, the Defender portal. Laura, do you have anything to add on this slide? Yeah, just to call out um, some of the uh, resolution for what will take effect on the device, I think is outlined here. Um, but just to call out, uh, depending on where your devices are in the management authority, we have uh, detailed how the policies coming from different management channels will actually take effect on the device. As Laura also shared earlier, we have a list inside our documentation. This is a, an example for our Windows supportability, either from within the uh, MDE attached or the Intune managed site, we have that uh, matrix for all of the uh, platforms. So both for Windows, uh, for Linux and for Mac OSs. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully this was helpful to learn about our unified security management solution. Thank you so much for tuning in on this session. And I hope that you learned something about our capabilities for security management, both inside Intune, but also inside the MDE side of defense.